wrap my head around what it must be like to drive here. I have a hard enough time in LA. How did you get here? Did you walk here or take a car? We oh, took, we we took, took a, a car. car. Did it move? But it was painfully <laughs> long. Yeah. We should have just taken the subway. Take the we could have. Yeah, we take the subway. We're in a turtle at yeah. the same. Pace. Yeah, yeah. Do you miss your warehouse 13? Every day. Because I do too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in touch with everybody. I just, I just did a couple of co other conventions with Eddie, who just got a, a fancy new show. He's going to be on uh, uh, Shooter with Ryan Phillippe, uh, the Mark Wahlberg thing there. And Saul is doing a really amazing thing in China right now that I don't think I'm allowed to talk about. So, yeah, no, I miss it like crazy. So That what? show was great. Thank you. What's going on? Right here with this guy? Yeah. Um, you want to you want to hear about our relationship on the show, or like what we think about each other in the real world? Oh. Like, what do you want to know? <laughs> Everything. Not you nothing's being taped. Uh, you know, working with her has been amazing because I she's, paid she, him five dollars. She's a veteran, and this is my first TV show uh, as a regular. So honestly, having her as a scene partner for the majority of my time on Citrus has been really a blessing. She's taught me a lot. You know, and she takes care of me too. So she's, she's gentle. So. That too, you know. It's not. It's oh, not. this sweet boy! I'm about to throw you under the bus so <laughs> big. Yo, here we go. You guys ready? Okay. So oh, shit. Uh, the night before we were to film our uh, love connection, if you will, uh, I get this is only episode two, right? Yeah, episode, two, three. Episode, three. episode three. Episode three. Episode and, two. And I've never. Bang in episode three. Yeah, and I've never kissed anyone on camera before. I get a text message the night before. I'm getting it real intimate. He was like, okay, so I just, I just want to let you know, like, I get sweaty palms. Like, it's not a big thing. Like, I just wanted to, you know, so he's like, I'm sorry ahead of time. And he sent me the, like, uh, sunglasses emoji. I tried to sound as cool as possible. I just figured which, if I was honest with her, so, made so, so you like, sound that much more nervous. I was. I was. I was. I, 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 I didn't want to, like, gross her out. Where it's one of those things where, like, Listen. I go to give her a hug and she's like, listen to me. What the hell was that? <laughs> I, it was so obvious to me that you were nervous that on the day, I just, I molested you as much as I could oh, off camera man. so that you would feel comfortable <laughs> enough to maul me on camera. Um, it's an interesting thing. Yeah. I, I, I mean, what do you think? The crew was sweating. Yeah. I think we did our job. The crew was really into it, so. Yeah. I think I think America enjoyed it. So. Yeah, I my my test is like if my dad can't watch it, like it's sexy enough. Yeah, I didn't tell my parents. I just let them. You didn't just, tell them? No, because they were doing too many weird, awkward questions. We were like, what do you mean? Like, did you so did you take your shirt off or? <laughs> what are you what are you wearing pants? No. no, dad. So like what? So what? I don't get it. No, dad. You know how you and mom made me. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, just to avoid all of those conversations, I just let them watch it. <laughs> I love the show. I love the show. I love the premise. And Fantastic. I think you guys work great together. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking at the A-team right now. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> so, what's coming up for you guys for the next uh, season? Uh, well, season two is, is kind of, I think, about self-reflection. Kind of where the characters are individually going. Thing in the aftermath of everything that happened with Cameron and, and where we're picking up, I think a lot of people are affected about the situation of, of you know losing somebody, how that may affect somebody, and kind of what it means to be working in this program and, and how we're kind of going to grow up. I know Linus specifically is going to take some time to really reflect on maturing and, and I think being more of a, a team player and kind of left a bad taste in everybody's mouth, kind of being whiny, and just kind of not cooperative. And, and, and petty. Uh, yeah. It's really it's kind of a no, bitch. It's not a good like, look. It, it's it's <laughs> Linus' bitch episode, so it's okay. You know, everyone has those moments. And unfortunately, mine happened at a bad time, but um, I think kind of with the whole, just the seriousness and, and possibly of, of losing one of, one of my best friends. You know, Linus' the best friends, if he doesn't say it, is probably Cameron. So... Uh, I think it will definitely have an effect, in it. you know, affect him in a, in a big, big, big way. Uh, and for Camille, you know, uh, the events of the finale are, are definitely the craziest and most stressful and most dire situation she's ever been in in her life. And you know, I think procedurals, you, you run the risk of forgetting what life and death actually means because you do it every episode and it starts to lose its meaning. 
And so that's my, you know, sort of main MO is like, let's never trivialize the danger. And especially for me, like, Camille's never seen shit like this, you know what I mean? So she's, uh, take, uh, you know, like, like Tesh was saying, everybody's taking a step back, figuring out what the 2.0 version of themselves is going to be. Um, and for my part, I uh, took Krav Maga training this summer because I said we have, we're lousy with desk jockeys. Um, and nobody, aside from Fisher, is our muscle on the team. Nobody's really qualified to be out there talking to potential criminals. So I don't. Like, I, I spoke to the writers. I was like, put me in. I, I'm a physical girl. Like, make me the muscle. Make me a black widow. So there'll be a sparring yeah. match between Camille and Lyons. More, I, more <laughs> of like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith, like that fighting back to back. You know, kind of thing. Yeah. That was my pitch. Anyway. But who knows? We've we've only gotten the first script. So we got the second one today. I, mean, I haven't read it. None of us have read it. We're all here with you guys. Yeah. Can we read it now or a little later? Table read. Imagine when you're doing a cold reading. Uh, right, right now, um, like... Impromptu table read of episode two. I'm sure it'd go really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freeform. Freeform, y'all. That would be a freeform table read. Wouldn't it? Uh, oh, I get it. Sorry. Not till January. Not till January. But wait. Uh, we'll, we'll promote it. What else? What else do you guys want to know? I think I'm sorry. Actually, yeah. we're probably gonna have to move out. Uh, no, you're having a great time. I was having fun here. Yeah, that's that's good. Good. Yeah. The tables are where it's out. The tables are where it's yeah. out. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your week. Thank you. And we're too. gonna make you go all the way over to here. Okay, good. <laughs> the Thank next you, day. Sir. <laughs>